All right, you will surely want to watch this story. See the guy here? Well, he's part of a firefighting crew that is using a drone to set fires intentionally. Yeah, we're not kidding here. Wildland fire crews working with national agencies in Nebraska today test it all out. Our Chase Moffitt spent the morning at Homestead National Monument just west of Beatrice. Flames ignite with heat, engulfing the prairie grass and growing in height. It's a controlled burn to clear out invasive plant species and to actually help prevent wildfires, according to experts here. Fire crews from Nebraska and South Dakota are on hand to make sure this blaze doesn't grow out of control. A perfect opportunity to test the latest technology in wildland firefighting. This unmanned aerial system for firefighting, UASFF, takes to the sky. It's a crew, a group of researchers from UNL. So the balls will be loaded in this, this basically chute up here, and then they drop into the mechanism. So we'll have it fully loaded out there. You can see the flammable fluid being injected into the system. Once the drone is over its target zone, those ping pong ball-like spheres are primed with the fluid and then dropped it takes about a minute for the fire on the ground to ignite. You can see the firefighters using the drip canisters to ignite flames to control the burn where they want it to go. Well, that's the purpose of the drone today, to take that roll over and hopefully save lives. Like this small of a unit we, we could do easily. Uh, you know, in the future, once they work out all the bugs, you know, it might be a good aerial platform for, for some more remote areas that people can't get to on foot. And it's hot in there. This, a perspective from a firefighter out in the field. That means people don't have to go into uh, maybe as rough terrain or as dangerous terrain. According to the park superintendent at Homestead National Monument of America, over the past 11 years, five people have died fighting wildland fires nationwide. This research today, could save lives. Badlands National Park has got some mesa tops that are hard to get folks up on top of. So if we could use this technology to burn the mesa tops and not send a firefighter up a, a steep embankment to get to the top. And so with the UASFF overhead, fire crews on the ground keeping watch, a safer, more efficient way of battling wildfires is here. At Homestead National Monument of America, outside of Beatrice, I'm Chase Moffitt, WWT 6 News. And we want to remind you, it is illegal to fly even a basic drone in national park lands without a special permit. Government agencies in Washington, D.C. were called on to give today's drone use clearance. Using a drone in this matter is just a test at this point.